Today, you join me. If you remember, in the last episode, we lost a game and we drew a game. Have we continued that little wobble? And if so, can we do anything about it today? Plus, we've got the third round of the FA Cup draw for you to start the episode. <laughs> Hello, and it's a very warm welcome to episode 90 of To Be A Legend. My name is Mark, and on today's episode, we have for you the FA Cup third round draw, and that's followed by two games in the championship. First up against Sheffield United at home, and then against Stoke City away. Plus, just as a little bit of added uh, enjoyment for you, uh, we have uh, a little bit of news about... Football Manager 2024. If you've missed all the stuff that was flying around yesterday, um, yesterday, uh, earlier in the week, I think I've lost my days now, uh, on Tuesday, I think it was, um, then uh, stay tuned. To, I'll tell you how you can get more info if you've missed the uh, the bits that have been flying around. And don't forget, if you do enjoy today's episode, leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification button. It's a big help to me here on YouTube. And I'd like to thank all those people who have been commenting, putting thumbs up, and also uh, subscribing to the channel. The uh, subscribers has jumped quite well uh, just recently ahead of FM24. I'm hoping for big things in FM24. And don't forget... If uh, you pick up any, you've signed up to me on Twitter as well. Don't forget to retweet some of my uh, tweets to pick up people that otherwise wouldn't uh, see uh, the tweets. Uh, enough from me. Let's have a look at uh, the F uh, the FA Cup third round draw. I'm going to hand you to past Mark for that draw. Thank you to Future Mark. And yes, the draw for the third round of the Emirates FA Cup. Who are we going to play? Let's go and have a look. And uh, the draw ready and getting underway. There are 64 teams left in the draw. And uh, not quite sure how many matches come out of this. 32 possibly? I don't know. There are some uh, some replays still to play by the looks of it. Uh, let's have a look then. Let's get on and uh, make the first draw. It's Norwich first out. They will play Cheltenham or Cambridge United in the third round. Notts County, are currently of the Van Rama National League, will play Southend. Sheffield United, our opponents in the first game of today's episode. Will we play them again in the FA Cup? No, Barnett are going to play them in the FA Cup. Aston Villa, they will play Chesterfield. Leeds of the Premier League will play Portsmouth. Manchester United will play Charlton. Peterborough, I think of League One, no, the Championship, will play Bolton of League One. Salford. We'll play Birmingham. Woking. We'll play Middlesbrough. Luton Town. We'll play Buxton. Luton Town and Buxton. So uh, if my memory serves me right, I think uh, we could have them twice in fairly quick succession. Uh, let's make the rest of the draw, as we usually do. That's the final draw out, 32 games. Uh, Newcastle versus Sunderland, an all uh, Teesside derby up there. Geordie derby. Let's have a look at the full draw then. I will go down slowly so you can pause it if you want to have a look at uh, where your team is and who they might be playing. My team there, Bristol City, will play either Huddersfield or Sheffield Wednesday. I'll hand you back to Mark, who will have a look at the schedule and let you know uh, what's going to happen uh, with regards to uh, those games. Do we have Luton twice in quick succession? I can't remember. I've been on holiday, for goodness sake. 
And in answer to Mark's question was, <laughs> do we have back-to-back -back games with Luton Town? Yes, we do. Uh, as you'll see, the FA Cup third round tie comes in there. Luton away um, at Kenilworth Road. I think it's actually, uh, it's not Kenilworth Road. It's the Power Court Stadium uh, by this point in the uh, in the proceedings. Um, and we go uh, back there the following week. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting. Back-to-back -back games against Luton Town. Uh, coming up in a future episode. I'm not sure whether we'll do Hull and Luton and then Luton and we, we might not even do back-to-back -back Lutons. I don't know. If you want back-to-back -back Lutons, leave me a comment. Let me know uh, what you want to do. Uh, I pulled that down. You will see what's happening since you were last with us last time out. Nottingham Forest, a 2-0 loss. Um, and then uh, we had a 1-1 draw uh, against Bristol City. Um, and uh, since then, we've been over the Seven Bridge uh, with a trip to the Cardiff City Stadium, and we've lost 1-0. Um, we just seem to be having problems scoring goals. Uh, we didn't play Mason uh, Burstow in this game. Uh, he needed resting. He's been playing too many games, apparently. Um, so we rested him, but uh, we didn't really have too much of insight. The other problem that we did was we picked up a boatload of uh, injuries. Uh, Dara Costello, he's out. Uh, for a while, he's uh, picked up an injury. In fact, let's go to the medical centre. We can have a closer look at that. Uh, Dara Costello, a twisted ankle. He's going to be out for two to four weeks. Uh, Lemar Gordon, he's going to be out for around about two weeks uh, with a pulled hamstring. Uh, and Terry Somatoy, uh, who come on for Lemar, for, no, for Costello, I think it was. Um, he picked up an injury. Uh, he's twisted his knee, but uh, he should be back in about four days, albeit he's not featuring in the side uh, on a permanent basis. Ashley Fletcher, Gary McDonald and David Abu are uh, recently back from injury. Um, right. Um, I don't know that there's a great deal to tell you. We are on the 6th of uh, December in-game um, and uh, we're obviously heading towards that uh, transfer window. We do really need... Uh, to hit that transfer window and uh, pick up a couple of players, I suggest, um, and uh, possibly a couple going out. We know Ashley Fletcher is definitely going. Um, currently, we're spending 93,000. Uh, committed spending is 89, um, and our wage budget is 95. We do have 100,000 pounds of transfer budget, which we could squeeze into the wage budget a little bit just to make it a little bit if we uh, can pick up a couple of decent players. I do need to have a look and see. Uh, where in the team we need those players though that is the thing um, because we need to sort that out sooner or later right let's get into the games on today's episode Sheffield United are first up we have played them four times in this series we have only beaten them once uh, that was in the championship uh, last season at a Bramall Lane a goal to nil on that occasion um, we've played them twice since then at Buxton uh, at home at Edgeley Park um, in the FA Cup fourth round last season, uh, losing two goals to nil. And then uh, we played them uh, after that, uh, losing 3-2 to them um, in the uh, championship fixture. Adrizzi and Joe Lewis, uh, the scorers on that occasion. And I will, I'll tell you a bit about how I've sorted the Joe and Jake Lewis uh, issues out that we've had, not knowing who's play who's who when we've uh, seen them playing. Um, but uh, yeah, we uh, hopefully can get a result. Um, just yeah, very, very difficult uh, so far. Um, one thing we haven't done is have a quick look at the uh, table, uh, which will show us that we've dropped down to fifth place. Having said that, all the teams in front of us are on 42 points. So to be honest, if we can string some wins together, um, could put us back up amongst them. So uh, I'm not too di disheartened. At the moment, we're just two points adrift. Uh, sorry, in front of Bristol City, though. Uh, but we are some seven points adri uh, adrift. Seven points in front of Middlesbrough, who are down in seventh place. So uh, at the moment, uh, worst comes to worst, we will uh, still say in the uh, playoff places um, as it stands currently. And, of course, our um, form is a little bit wonky. Lost three of our last five. One, one of our last five and drawn the other one. Um, today's opponents are Sheffield United, down in eighth. Uh, they've lost two and won three of their last five. Um, they are on 33 points, seven points behind us, so it's a six-pointer, really. Um, as I say, in eighth, our second opponents today are Stoke, who, will, uh, who are down there in ninth place. 
Um, so, Hull, Queen's Park Rangers and Ipswich Town still in the drop zone. Right, let's go and have a look at the team then that will face Sheffield United. And here is the team that will face Sheffield United in this Skybet Championship. Match day 21. It's Cartwright in goal. Sass Davis, Jake Lewis and Joe Lewis are the defensive line. Scanlon and Tomlinson playing as the uh, wide. And why have I got wing back? And we, uh, I'm not sure. I think we actually had a tweak with the, uh, the formation a little bit. And uh, we've gone wing backs instead of complete wing backs. Um, the... Um, Roman playmaker is uh, Charlie McCann and uh, Eli King as the deep line playmaker. Um, obviously been playing a lots of matches and uh, May and Hoare are on the bench for this one. Uh, Burrows he plays wide on the left. Abu playing wide on the right. They sit behind Burstow, who is restored to the attack. Uh, and then on the bench, we have Clark, Adolphin, Bridge, May, Hoare, Richards and Adrizzi. And this is how the two sides line up here at Edgeley Park. Formation that we are familiar with. We did tweak with it against Cardiff, but uh, didn't particularly work. So we're going back to basics. And they're playing a 4-3-3, but uh, very narrow. Sheffield United in eighth on 33 points. We are fifth on 40 points. A win today would avoid any gaps opening up at the top. The teams again for you. First highlight comes 29 minutes in, nearly 30 minutes. Long throw for Burstow. Burstow in space. Burstow throws into the area. Not sure if he had a shot then or what went on, but uh, he missed. We have a corner now, 39 minutes on the clock. Eli King with the corner. Swung it in. It's headed clear, though, but only as far as Abu. Abu in the area. Abu's going on his own. It's uh, the, the goalkeeper flicks it to Burstow. And Burstow gets his 19th of the season. It's 1-0 on 40 minutes. And uh, mistake by the goalkeeper gives us the goal. It's headed clear. Abu created a bit of space. Had a shot himself. Tried to get it in the near post. Uh, but the goalkeeper only managing to parry it. Another highlight. And Sheffield United with the highlight come forward. As usually happens, it's uh, just literally straight after the goal and uh, putting us under pressure, but it's cut out by Jake Lewis. Um, I was going to tell you, actually, pause that for a moment. I was going to tell you that, uh, as uh, I said, what we have done is we've changed their uh, names so that we can uh, decipher who, which is Jake and which is Joe. There's Joe, and there's Jake. So that's what we've done. Scanlon coming away with the ball now. I like continuing for the moment. First, though, not going to get under that one. And Sheffield United win the ball back. Uh, but it's cut out. Sass Davis heading it forward. And that's through to Brewster. Brewster puts it away. Ninth goal of the season, and they're 1-1 in the space of a few minutes. It's not going to count, though. It's offside, apparently. And half time comes. We've managed to stay in front at the end of that half. Um, <laughs> I need to go back and have a look at what happened there um, with that disallowed goal because uh, it did seem a bit bizarre. I couldn't really see that he was offside. But anyway, we've had five shots, three of which are on target, which has been better than what we have in uh, previous games uh, just now. A 1.29 on the old XG, 54% of the possession. They've had nine shots, only two of which have been on target, thankfully. Uh, one of those is discontinued. Well, one, um, 1.16. Did I say discontinued? I meant uh, disallowed. Uh, and 46% of possession. Can tell I've been on holiday. Getting all my words muddled up. What is going on? Uh, right, so that sets us up. Let's see if we can improve on that in the second half. A two-goal cushion would be very nice. Thank you. Our first highlight comes after 57 minutes. First highlight of the second half, that is. And wondering whether we were going to go through to changes before we had any highlights, but uh, we do get this highlight. 
Oh, and Burstos snuck in. Can he score a second? No, he can't. The goalkeeper managing to thwart him. We do have a free kick now, though. McCann. McCann has a shot. Hit the net in, but... And with nearly 60 minutes on the clock, we're going to make... Um, we're going to make changes um, because Callum Scanlon's not having such a good game. He's got a yellow card as well. Uh, we've taken him off and replaced him with a Dauphin. A Dauphin moving out to the right, which is his preferred position. And I've noticed that we've got him on defend. We really want him on support in that position. Uh, and uh, then Tomlinson is uh, moved to the left-hand side. I presume he's not better as a complete wing, but is he? No. Um, so that's uh, one change. The other change is Jake Lewis uh, was getting very tired. I'm not quite sure why that was. He was having a good game as well. Uh, but we've replaced him with Mungo Bridge, who comes in uh, in that central defensive uh, ball-playing uh, defender position. And uh, that are, oh, those are the changes for the moment. Bogle with a throw in on that far side to Brewster. And uh, are we going to rue the fact that Burstow couldn't put that uh, chance away just now? Let's hope not. And uh, they've gone out wide. Bogle is going to get there, cross it into the area. Oh, and it's gone in and they've equalised after 64 minutes. It was Cartwright's mistake, I think has put us back on level terms. The ball comes in. Who's this? Sass Davis. Not getting his foot to it. Cartwright drops it. Bridge, who's just come on, basically rolls it to Brewster, who puts it in the back of the net. It's a goal kick to Sass Davis. Out to Tomlinson. Burrows, Burrows back to Tomlinson. Tomlinson finds Bridge. Burrows, Bridge has moved out. We've put uh, Sass Davis in the centre of defence as a libero. That ball forward to uh, Burrows didn't uh, meet its target, and uh, Sheffield United have the ball again. And goes all the way back to the goalkeeper. And uh, they're being very patient, which is a bit of a worry. And that long ball. Cartwright. Oh, he's made a mistake. Oh, dear. I think Cartwright, his time, he's going to get a uh, thing. He's been a bit wishy-washy just recently, and that was a big mistake. Over the top. And Sass Davis stopped running. Cartwright just... Hit it against Brewster, and Brewster, for the second time, just thankfully puts it in the back of the net. And with 76 minutes on the clock, making a couple more changes, David Abu could only play 75 minutes. He's then done that there or thereabouts, getting very tired, and also has picked up a knock, a further knock, which is not good news. Uh, Richards comes on to replace him. Um, I'm not quite sure which his preferred position is, actually. It is inverted winger, so that's okay. It's a good uh, good swap. Um, and uh, we're going to change Burrows to an inverted winger on that left side. And uh, we've also brought on um, Adam May just to see if he can do something or other in that uh, centre mid. McCann drops as the deep line playmaker and uh, they have replaced Eli King. They have a corner now, not another goal. And uh, be punching holes in our uh, goal difference as well. And, uh, oh, a penalty. Think we have acclimatised to the championship, boys and girls. Oh, good save by Cartwright. Redeems himself for a couple of mistakes which have led um, to uh, the two goals from Sheffield United, we should have won this. Cartwright making a couple of mistakes, redeemed himself there. No more highlights and we've collapsed to a 2-1 loss at home at Edgeley Park. Uh, Cartwright having probably a decent game, uh, but Rian Brewster, uh, the man who uh, killed us off, two goals 
um, 64 and 76 minutes after having a 1-0 lead at half-time through Mason Burstow, the man who hit can, bar can hit barn doors, but it seems to be that he is the only person that can, that can hit barn doors. Uh, 13 shots, just five on target. I don't think we uh, increased that many in the second half, to be fair. Um, I think it was... Uh, was it six and three at half time? I can't remember. Um, Fifty-three percent of the possession. Uh, they had seventeen shots, of which six were on target. Uh, they come back in that second half for sure and uh, give us a little bit of a uh, a thumb in. Let's have a look and see what uh, the uh, table has done after that. So this is how it looks, and the teams around us have all got games to play: Bristol City, West Brom, Nottingham Forest, Reading, Sunderland. All have to play. Um, did, were we playing the early game or something? I don't know what was going on. Uh, but anyway, we are currently in fifth, just two points clear of Bristol City. If they win, we will drop down to sixth. And then it's only four-point gap between us and Sheffield United, who have just beaten us, of course. Then come Middlesbrough, Stoke and Southampton. So uh, not a good day. And uh, we do need to start scoring goals, basically. And the graph that tells the story of the game, we had 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes of the whole game and uh, Sheffield United dominating the rest of the game, really. Um, we were, uh, I guess, lucky to uh, to be one up at half time, given that we'd only had 10 minutes of the game, uh, putting our chances away on that occasion. Uh, but uh, when it came to the second half, we weren't really in it at all, all game. So after back-to-back -back losses for the first time this season, uh, we uh, have to try and pull things around. Uh, life does not get any easier. We have a, the return of Cardiff coming up very, very soon as well, having lost 1-0 to them in the last game. Um, so it's, uh, it, yeah, it's, uh, it's all happening there or thereabouts. So um, let's uh, see what, uh, what we can do today. We've got Stoke up next. Uh, we haven't played them yet, uh, I noticed. Did Stoke fall out? Stoke surely didn't fall out of the uh, Premier League last season, did they? Uh, oh, yeah, they did. So they are a relegated side from the Premier League, finishing 20th last season. So, um, yeah, another toughie then. And uh, away at the uh, Bet365 Stadium. And then, of course, we've got uh, Watford and Cardiff, as I said, coming up. And it doesn't get any easier. Southampton and Hull City follow them. So uh, it's just, it's a constant treadmill, shall we say. Right, let's go and see uh, and have a look at the team that will face uh, Stoke for the second game of the episode. It's Championship Match Day 22. And here is the side that will face uh, Stoke City in this Skybet Championship match. As Xander Clark replaces Cartwright in goal, having made those couple of mistakes last time out. Uh, Bridge, Jake Lewis and Joe Lewis are the defensive line with Scanlon, McCann, Hoare and Mumba making up the central midfield. Uh, Mumba and Scanlon. Mumba playing more as his wing back. He's complained, didn't like playing as a complete wing back. I don't know what the difference is, to be fair. Um, but uh, he's uh, complained, so we're playing him as a wing back. Hence why we've swapped to wing backs. In fact, uh, yeah, we'll leave it as a wing back. Uh, McCann uh, gets uh, another go uh, in that uh, Vola, uh, Sugreno, uh Volante uh, position. And uh, Hoare as the deep line playmaker. Richard starts uh, uh, on the left side as a winger. Or Abu starts on the right side as an uh, inverted winger. Bursto leads the attack once again. Cartwright, Adolphin, Sass Davis, Burrows, May, Omatoy and Adrizzi make up the bench. And Stoke City, they play in a 4-2-3-1 formation. We're sticking to our usual formation for now. It uh, does feel like uh, with the transfer window coming, we might make some changes. Stoke City in ninth on 33 points. Games have been played and uh, we didn't look at the uh, table. 
first highlight comes after 19 minutes it's a stoke throw in and uh, trying to push him back and uh, mendes mendes turned his defender and scored in off the post 20 minutes they go one up and uh well we've got to do it the hard way it's going to be one of those episodes are we going to lose three on the trot and in which case the old alarm bells must start ringing Xander Clark not getting to that one. We have a free kick now. McCann with the free kick. Swings it in looking for Joe Lewis. Bridge is there though. Bridge holds the ball up. Mumba. Mumba puts it into space for Abu. Abu is tackled and uh, loses the ball. But Hoare in defensive position. Joe Lewis out wide to Mumba. Mumba can he get this ball into the area? He's got it inside to Abu. Abu crosses it in. He's headed clear, but back to Abu. Abu, Mumba. Oh, it's flashing around there. And, oh, saved somehow. Joe Lewis keeps it alive. Scanlon. What a goal from Callum Scanlon. His first goal of the season. What a time to score it. 30. I'm not sure whether it was 33 minutes or 34 minutes on the clock. But uh, well worked. This is flashing around. And that defender there, Suter blocked it twice and the goalkeeper all over the place ball comes out joe lewis finds scanlon scanlon hits it first time and it's a rocket in the back of the net half time comes and no more highlights and uh, callum scanlon's goal after 33 minutes uh keeps us level at half time and uh to be honest I think we were worth it. Uh, the only thing that we haven't really done particularly well on is possession on 39%. Eight shots, four on target. That's 50%. 1.08 on the old XG. 39% uh, of the possession. Need more possession in the second half. They've also had eight shots, but only two of which have been on target. 0.44. 61% of the possession. Um, we're not going bad, but we could do better. Our first highlight of this second half. And it's Stoke City tidying up in defence. And Bursto steps in. Bursto has a go from distance, but he's just gone over. He's lost his mojo. And with 63 minutes on the clock, uh, we are making two changes. Charlie McCann, who uh, he's not played too badly. He's come off and uh, Adam May comes on in his place. And Mason Bursto, um, again, he's I think he's just tired. Needs to have a bit of a rest. Um, we need to have a look and see how the uh, how the land lies. It's not going to be any time soon, I fear. We need an, another player of similar ilk that we can interchange with him. Um, we don't have another striker that can hit barn doors uh, like Mason Burstow, and he's getting a little bit rusty as well himself. Um, he's off, and uh, Ismet Drizzy uh, leads the attack uh, for the rest of the game. Joe Lewis with a throw in. Throws it to Adrizzi. Adrizzi inside to Abu. Abu cuts inside. Oh, and a good save. That was, looked like it was going in. I think it's a goal kick, actually. And with 81 minutes on the clock, we're making our final changes of the game. Taylor Richards comes off for Harrison Burrows out on that left side. Um, I am going to change him to an inverted winger only because I think he prefers to play as a winger. But uh, we're going to have him... As an inverted winger on this occasion. To Omatoy is on on the uh, right side. Um, and we're going to make him... He prefers to play on the left as it is. Uh, but uh, he prefers as an inside forward. So we're going to play him as an inside forward on that left side. Sorry, on the right side. What am I talking about? Left side. <laughs> uh dear. Um, and uh, our final change, uh, I think... Uh, if my memory serves me right, um, we are taking off um, Jake Lewis, who uh, is uh, been playing in that central defensive position. Sass Davis comes on for him. Uh, plan is to see the game out if we can. Scanlon with a long throw, but it's headed down and uh, just leaves me cold. And ah, oh dear. Oh, and we're going to lose this one 2-1 as well, aren't we? 
all from that uh, lost ball there. Fredrickson finds Laras and uh, Fredrickson had moved into space. Bridge with a throw into May. Back to Bridge. Bridge, May. May finds Hort. Hort tried to thread that through and didn't find it. And we're now on the... Uh, Got to be careful of the counter. Campbell, Tyrese Campbell out wide and we're outnumbered here. He's had a shot from distance. Thankfully, didn't pass it to one of his team players. Otherwise, uh, it could have been a third goal and it's all over. We've lost three on the trot. We need to have a bit of a rethink. I think this uh, this formation isn't working anymore. It's uh, it's lost its thing. And the fact that we can't hit the barn door doesn't help, of course. We did uh, increase our possession in that second half. Uh, 13 shots, six on target, 1.29. Uh, they had 13 shots, four on target, uh, but just managed to uh, beat us. Um, I, I'm not sure what to say, really. Uh, Callum Scanlon having a player of the match um, with a 7.6, uh, but uh, a boo, a poor 6.2. Uh, so all in all, not a bad, uh, not a good day at the office today. Uh, let's see how that leaves us in the table. Well, by virtue of uh, all the other teams around us not doing particularly well, but we have lost a lot of ground. We only were only two points behind uh, the top uh, teams here. We're now eight points adrift of Sunderland and Nottingham Forest. Uh, Reading have got in front of us. West Brom in front of us on 46. We stay in fifth, uh, but by virtue of the fact that Bristol City still have a game in hand, and if they win that game in hand, we'll bypass this. We'll drop down to sixth with Sheffield United breathing down our necks. And then comes Stoke, who we've lost to today, uh, closing the gap even further. I think if we're not careful, we're going to be in this mid-drift before we're much longer. I'd like to think we're OK from relegation, but we need to, to uh, stop this rot um, as soon as we can. Well, third game in a row that we've lost, and that's uh, that's hurting I haven't won a game now in five games, only managing one draw in that five. So uh, I'll, uh, four out of the last five have been losses. We're starting to find it and hurt, and we need to turn it around quick. And there's no easy games coming either because uh, there aren't any in the championship. Ah, um, <laughs> oh dear. Well, right, we're going to play Watford offline. I think we're going to come back for Cardiff and Southampton. Uh, because uh, we're going to split the uh, Luton Town game up. Uh, then we'll come back for Hull City and Luton Town uh, in the FA Cup third round. We'll see how we go, and then probably what we'll do is uh, Preston and Millwall uh, towards the end, or even might even do Millwall and Portsmouth, um, and so that we uh, have the end of the transfer window. That's more like it. Um, so uh, that's how it's going to go. Uh, Watford offline then. We're going to come back for Cardiff and Southampton in the next episode, uh, followed by uh, Hull City and Luton Town in the FA Cup. And then we'll go um, Millwall and Portsmouth the episode after that, um, as I say, so that we can uh, round up on what's uh, happening in the, in the transfer window. And we need to do something because uh, with the players we've got, we're losing a bit of ground very quickly. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up. Subscribe and hit the notification button. That will keep you up to date with all future episodes of To Be A Legend, our new series that's going out as well, uh, Project Turnaround. And, of course, all that is happening on FM24. I did say right at the start, uh, it has been announced when the uh, uh, game is going to be released, 6th of November, and we think that the beta will be out somewhere around the weekend of the 20th of October. Um, more on this channel as it comes out. There are some drips of things to look forward to in uh, FM24, and we'll be uh, looking at those as they are released over the next couple of weeks, and uh, we'll be putting some videos out for that. So don't forget to subscribe. That will keep you in touch with all that's going on. The other way of keeping in touch with everything that's going on, of course, is to follow me on Twitter, at Just Offside 2. That keeps you up to date with everything that's happening on this channel and more. So uh, please follow me if you will on there. Uh, new episodes to be a legend released every Monday and Thursday at 4.15pm. Thank you for watching. We'll be back next Monday with episode 91 of To Be A Legend. And let's hope by then we've worked out how to turn this around. Goodbye. Goodbye.